Jay insisted that I speak only for two minutes. <laughs> now, I said to myself that I have to prepare for this because I just saw a 20 minute, two minute performance. So, I'm going to have some bullet points, which is, and you can start your watches. I'm going to try and finish in two minutes. One day, One morning, I was in my 40s, I walked into my office at Procter & Gamble Worldwide in the United States. I was at that time head of global strategy for the company and the first thing that I did, as I did every morning, was to look at the market shares of Thai detergent, Pampers, Oil Volet, Vicks Vapora, Canteen <coughs> Shampoo, Gillette Blade, all good products. But then I suddenly paused and I said to myself, is this what life is all about? And so, I went home feeling depressed and I told my wife, I said, surely there's a bigger world outside. And she said, shh, you're just going through a midlife crisis. Everybody does that. But that crisis did not go away. And so my wife realized I was really serious and that I was ready to quit. And I wasn't even 50. And so I sat down with her, we did our sums, we saw how much expenditure we would need for the rest of our life, how much savings we had, how we invested it in the law company, how much we would make. Anyway, the long and short of it is she was a good sport I quit the company at 50 and I came back to India and started to write. And I wrote, started writing a column in the Times of India, which then expanded to six, seven local Indian newspapers. I started writing a quarterly piece for the Financial Times, etc. But the main thing I did was to begin a project of self-cultivation. By self-cultivation, I mean, I was just talking to Sir Hale said to read six books, for, six books a, a day, or no, six books a week. Yeah, I did work for Procter and Gamble. And so, I said, I will write a book on, you know, being an Indian, you have to be concerned with poverty. And so I said, how do you make a poor country rich? And that's the goal of Artha. So we have these classical four goals of life. And I said, I'd write a book on each of these goals. So that first book was called India Unbound. And I was lucky. The book went into 21 languages, was filmed. And then I had the courage to write about a second book because I was concerned about corruption. And the second book was on moral well-being and that's called Dharma. And that was a book called the Difficulty of Being Good. And now, last week, I launched a third book on Karma. Karma means pleasure and desire. Now, unlike the Western Christian tradition where desire is associated with original sin, with guilt and shame, India elevated karma to a goal of life. It created a God of love and 
So I feel that in a sense to live a flourishing life you need to also have come to grips with desire and calm. The, the, the end of my talk is really that life is not just about finding yourself, but it's about creating yourself. And one can do it at any stage. And what we owe to our children is to help them find a passion. To teach them there's a difference between making a living and making a life. And, and, and therefore, that they must live consciously. And happiness lies in the wisdom of the ancients who talked about these goals of life and they said that they should be in harmony and balance. So, my friends, if you want to be happy, love the work you do and love the person you live with.